one of the best things about chemistry for me is the colour changes and how you can actually get several colour changes uh, from one solution. And what looks like in here, just uh, to me, it's apple juice. To Brady, it looked like iron brew, uh, but it does really look like a soft drink. So if we pour it into these glasses, uh, we can actually see whether any change happens once we pour them in. So I'm going to pour it in like so. So it looks like we've got some red wine there. Mmm, banana milk. Let's try this one. I'm not sure, possibly whiskey of some sort. Okay, that just looks like ink, that's gross. That's like some kind of energy drink. And finally, inside here. That looks more like tea. So yeah, there's a little bit of the uh, original solution in there. So we started out in here with ammonium iron sulfate. And inside these um, glasses are actually several different chemicals. And what um, these colour changes represent are the different uh, exchanges of ions that took place. So what do I mean by that? The best thing is to actually show you what's inside these glasses. So this red wine that uh, is in glass number one is actually it was spiked with potassium thiocyanate. So right down here, we had a little bit of potassium thiocyanate and when I added the ammonium iron sulfate, it's actually the thiocyanate ions that are binding with the iron to give you this um, molecule here, this complex. And glass number two actually had barium chloride in it. And it's the barium that's reacting this time to give you that, that colour. And now we've got a completely different colour here with glass number three. And actually, what's reacting in this case is something called potassium ferrocyanide. So here, it's the ferrocyanide this time that's reacting with the iron and giving you that colour there. Here, what looks like some kind of inky substance is actually the result of re the reaction with tannic acid. So the tannic acid is the one that's forming the complex here. And then the complete change, um, we've got something here that's less cloudy, a lot more clear, looks bright yellow. You know what that looks like. Yeah, which, yeah, we all know what that looks like. Um, but it's nothing to do with urea. It's actually tartaric acid that's reacted to give us that. And last but not least, this one, which is going back to, well, it was, did look like tea. It's now looking more like, I don't know, brandy. It's actually sodium bisulfite. So sodium hydrogen sulfite is, is inside that glass. And that is six colours from that one solution. accelerated by the breaking balloon, you can see, it's being accelerated hard down towards the rest of the water and causing these fantastic ripples, these waves on the surface. And then this is continuing out down, so this, the, the water that we've accelerated at the top from the balloon bursting in this way is now accelerating out towards the bottom.